manifold clips, gauze, little bucket, 10 cc syringes, big bucket. That's what you'll be doing on the first day. <laughs> All right. You have to open this and dump it out. I recommend you get rid of your bag. It gets in your way. <clears throat> All right. Travis, Dr. Griffin, are you center or in contrast? Dance. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. I'm tidying my lure locks. Tightening. Tightening my lure locks. Will you please put this in my heparinized saline bag? My flush line is handed off first. I'm going to open it. Um. Mm -hmm. And let it drain in my bucket while I yeah. fight <laughs> with my contrast box here. Guess what? If you're not ready, you are allowed to hang it up on the pole. I do realize that that went above my barrel window. So now, and you filled that chamber all the way up. Great. Thank you. This goes right here, right? Or, no, this one. So, I'm going to knock a few of my bubbles out. And again, I use a 10cc syringe. I don't use the control syringe. That's what this is. But, you know, what have you. Like I said, the manifold is going to be your setup. Sorry, Travis, I have to get a shower. My goal is to be handing her that pressure line by the time she's finished with that contrast. Hey, okay, drippity drip. Itty bitty fingers. And see how we like to curve things for our unsterile people to get a good grasp on? Thank you. Very funny. Well, that goes. What bottom. is that? I'm drawing back heparinized saline. Pick it up off if it's too So quick. that she can put. Hmm? Um, you can take it off the mount. Do you want me to keep it off or open it? No, that's the way it goes, I think. You want a straight line. And like uh, Tina said, you can take it off the plate. You don't have to feel like it's glued to that. But now I'm going to flush towards you. So you've got to keep your eyes on that piece so you can tell me if I'm sending you any air. Oh, right here? You handed off a pressure right here. Okay. Correct. Yep. All right, and then so it's coming to you. Yes. And then I have to draw back flush so that I can flush it towards her. Um, I don't see any air on my end, but... No, you're good on mine. We'll do it for a good measure. We like to do it about 5 to 10 seconds, even after you said mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Yep, okay, good. Fine. Off to you. Now I need to pull back my contrast, which is going to allow me. Sorry. Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, Again, <laughs> air rises. Save every CC that you possibly can. Sorry. You don't want to waste any of it. And then once I find that it's air free, I'm going to send it back. Oh, nope, there's a bubble. Hmm. These little pesky things. As I'm hitting, I'm drawing back at the same time. The two occur simultaneously. Okay? As you're, what are you saying? As she's back. hitting, she's drawing back. Like this. Gotcha. Okay. So what I'm knocking is going the direction mm -hmm. I want it to. Sometimes you'll see people use a. Uh, you know, some other techniques. They're drawing back. They're hitting it with a syringe because they don't want to hurt their hand. Because I know you see how hard I hit it. Which is pretty fierce. Okay. And again, this is contrast, so I'm going to send it back. As much as you can. As much as I can. Way. That's right. Never go to the plunger. And then make sure you spit that out. And Or if you have a contrast bucket in the backfield, that's even better. Put it in there. All right, so it. technically... Technically, I have a little flush in my bowl, so I could technically flush my syringe, my cylinder needle, and some other equipment if I need be. But now, I need to put the manifold on the lap of the patient and prove to the physician that it is air-free. So fill control syringe with seven to eight. Yes, that's how you want to leave it. Oh, bubble. Hold on, that's contrast. Oh, okay. We said this was... That's Blood. right. You said you were end contrast. Thank you, sir. Dr. Griffin. Is there any way that we can mark that to save our own butts? Yeah, that's what those little stickers are for. Okay. If you want to say, 
Blue is the pressure. Contra- no, no, no. If you want to say the blue is the contrast or the yellow is the, in your mind, but there's no guarantee of what color means what. I mean, red means arterial Just line. Just remember it, yeah. Blue means Venus. That's, you know, the purpose of it. But, um, yeah, no, that's a great idea if, if you're having a hard I'm time. Scared, yeah, that I'm going to forget. Yeah. I know that the fat, short, chubby one is the contrast, right? And if I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. maybe yellow is contrast. We'll read the package and see. Well, you could say that. Like, let's say that. Oops, nope. no, it's on the end. It's on the end. <laughs> oh! Well, this is your. Do you want to spell it? The most distal here is always your pressure. That is correct. Mm-hmm. That's always pressure. So okay, don't even so look you don't at have that. Don't even worry about that. It's really a battle between two places. And the short, fat one is your contrast. Contrast. Yeah. And the skinny one is your uh, blush. So yeah. yeah. So if you have wet, you think skinny guys are such a lush. Well, we're skinny, you're trying to do a flush so you can get skinny or whatever. Yeah, I'll figure mm-hmm. it out. So, make sure these little wet spots aren't bubbles. You might have to wipe and hit and draw back. And again, remember, bubbles like to live in lower locks, especially if they're not tightened all the way, which is why that should be the first thing you do before you start setting it up. Okay, so this is a perfect manifold, fluid-filled, air-free. Again, you're going to have your own little fancy twists on this. The fact of the matter is, the theory remains the same. Air-free, fluid fill. Okay? Mm-hmm. And, and then, always, there's always flush in there right now. That's correct. I always leave 7 to 8 cc's of heparinized saline in the control syringe. reason it's a control syringe is this is what he's going to have to push through to inject the coronaries, okay? And you just set it nice and gently on the lap, not yanking on these wires or anything. And now you're ready to put your vascular tools up here, flush your equipment, and make everything nice and pretty and neat and tidy. And stand here and await your arrival. And what about arrival. this one? Sure. Yes. Sorry, I keep reading the waste bag. Thank you. I'm going to come around the side and show you another trick. <laughs> so after you set it... Okay. Pretend I'm in show. Yes, yeah, you have to hand off the flush bag. Thank you. Where's the team? I'll stop. Um... Oh. Yeah, it. Oh, Dr. Kristen. So we're just going to pull this little nipple out. Now you can spike that in there. And you're like, well, that's my waist bag. You said my waist is going to go in there. My heme is going to go in there. Well, yeah, but you have to be able to flush your syringe clean. And all you do is just spike that one. You're going to like that one better. <laughs> So do you remember me telling you that I don't actually keep, I keep a bowl for my personal bird bath purposes? A waste bag has a one-way valve. That's what these purple valves look like. So no, um, the flush line, nothing can go back up into it. Mm-hmm. So I have to, oh. it makes a little teapot noise. So I can draw back a flesh, flesh, fresh syringe full of flush. And let's say this was filled with yucky heme, right? Doc handed it to me. He flushed the sheath. It's bright red, okay? It's Kool-Aid. I'd hook it up here, squirt the heme into my waste bag. Oh, cool. But yet then I could draw back pepperonized saline and then push a little bit forward when you're taking it off because you're going to get heme stuck in that mm-hmm. floor lock. And bam! New syringe. Cool. Nice. The waste bag is... Great. So you can push blood in there, but draw clear, clean yeah. from it out. Correct. It doesn't let you That's right. draw the back. The two will never meet. And where does this hang at? This just sits on your back table. You don't ever take this part off? No. I do not open it up. 